All right, the first step to mod your G1 to get root access for an RC30 is insert your memory card so that your computer reads it. And you're going to want to format your memory card. And you're going to format it to file system FAT32. Once you click that, just put start and it'll format it. I already formatted mine. Um, the second step that you have to do is download the link for the dream image RC29 and once you download that you're going to want to extract the files and you're going to extract the files directly onto your SD card make sure you don't put it in any folders that is going to go on your SD card so your SD card should just have one folder in it and it should be the dream image that nbh once it's on there you could safely remove your memory card and now we're going to put the memory card into the phone make sure the phone is off so we're going to power off the phone alright so now you're going to take out your memory card that has a dream image in there and put it into your phone Once it's in there, um, you're going to enter bootloader. To enter bootloader, you hold the power and the camera button at the same time. And what should come up is a tricolor screen. Now, the next screen, the gray screen, is going to come up automatically. And what you need to do is press power button to start doing the, to, to start doing the update. So you press the power, and each one of these is going to be checked off with an OK. Make sure your battery is uh, full charge, if not close to full. And the update bar, you just gotta wait till it gets fully filled up. Okay, once it's done installing, you're gonna get an OK on all the bars. And it says press the action key. Just um, press your scroll ball in. And you're gonna wanna do a uh, reboot on the phone. So you're gonna take off the battery. and you're going to put it back in so we're going to, once, it, once the phone turns back on you're going to have to sign into your google account alright now after that you logged in uh, you can go actually go into your settings and make sure that you are on to RC29 and if you go down here you could actually see that it says RC29 now what you're going to want to do is download two programs from the market the first time you open up the market it's probably going to ask you to agree to the terms and it's loading up now So you just put a sub and that's pretty much it. Now the two programs you're going to download, one of them is called Telnet. So type it in, hit search and Telnet should come up. There it is, we're going to select it. And install it. Now the other program you're going to download is called Terminal Emulator. Search for that. And install that one also. Alright, so now they're both installed. Okay, now we're going to connect the phone back to their computer. And make sure you mount the phone onto your computer. And another thing you want to do is go into your settings, applications, and check the unknown sources box. Alright, and now we're going to have to grab the two more files 
from the internet. The two files you're going to get are going to be the Android mod zip and your own, which is here on step 18. And the other file is going to be the RC30 and that is on step 21. For the Android mod, you just need to get the recovery test keys. You're going to copy that and you're going to paste it onto your memory card. So there it is. Now for the JFRC30, you're going to want to rename that to update. It's update.zip. Now with Vista, by default your extensions are hidden so make sure you click properties and you click on details and that it says update that zip right there and with that you're not going to extract the files you're simply going to copy it over to your memory card so make sure you don't extract the files you just simply download the file in the zip format and copy it right over to your memory card don't put any of these files into any folders, just leave it right onto the SD card. Okay, so what you want to do now is safely remove the memory card. And now on the phone, you're going to type in the word Telnet D. Hit enter first and then Telnet D. Hit enter. And now you're going to go up to your Telnet and you're going to connect to server. Alright, once you hit Telnet um, and you open up your Telnet application, you're going to type ID. And once you type in ID, you hit enter, and you should see the line UID equals zero root, GID equals zero root. If you have that, you're good. You can move on to step 16, and you're going to type in the following three lines. After each line, you hit enter, and make sure you watch your spaces, because if you don't space, it's not going to go through. Once you back down to your home screen, open up the terminal emulator and you're going to type in the letters SU, hit enter, and then from the dollar sign, it's going to switch to a numeral sign. Following the commands on step 19 from the link, just type in the rest. Alright, once you hit enter on the last line, now what you can do is turn off your phone. And what we're going to do is we're going to enter recovery mode. To get into recovery mode, hold on the home button and the power button at the same time. Now, if done correctly, there should be an image of a cell phone and an exclamation point. Once you get to that image, you're gonna hit Alt L and up on top you're gonna see the word Android system recovery utility using test keys and you're gonna see you can't open cache recovery com command now from here all you have to do is hit Alt S and what it's doing is it's gonna start installing RC30 again so just wait for the bar to get filled up once it gets filled up, you can press home and back at the same time, and it's going to reboot the phone. Once your phone reboots, you're pretty much done. Just go to settings about phone, and make sure you have RC30 there. If you do, congratulations, you are done. Thanks for watching.